<laughs> you know, rising fuel prices, guys, we finally decided to uh, just come over here and steal some fuel out of my buddy's fuel tank. It's about the best way you're going to get some cheap fuel nowadays. And uh, he only doesn't realize how much fuel his truck holds. The whole 250 freaking gallons. So we're about to take a quarter of this 1,000 gallon tank and put it inside the semi. Click, clack, cha-ching. Taking all the fuel from the skid steer king. <laughs> Man, going slow as heck. Good lord. We'll be here all day. And just like that, our tanks are full. We put 213 gallons in it. Thanks, Paul. We're going to load up one of his tractors. We're going to go take to the port and uh, pick up some more tomorrow. We're going to find a hotel room tonight. So here we have little Paul Coates. Look at the differential clock on this thing. <laughs> oh, good lord. So I got my trailer back out of the shop, guys. As you can see, they put manual slack adjusters on it from Meritor. And uh, I had some other kind of, I don't know, automatic slack adjusters on it. And uh, got it back today. You can still see we're moving around the yard, barely doing it, still dragging the brakes. I don't know what else to do. Just getting tired of it. If you folks are in need of any skid steers, old Polly here's got plenty of them. I kind of stay away from the skid steer stuff, but uh, plenty of plenty of <laughs> quality equipment. It's got a fresh paint job on these units. <laughs> Your own clouds are super reflective. <laughs> the running shoes. You know, I was looking on Amazon That's last night. I was going to buy me some, and they only make them in 11. It's the biggest they make. Sure. Yeah, for little people. What do you wear, 12? Yeah. All right, so we stopped to pick up Paul's trials bike. Bruce, the key's gone. And you ripped the top off this thing? We ripped this with a little... Uh... I don't think the guy's gonna notice. Probably not. Just rip it the rest of the way off. Uh, it's a 99, I mean, he can't... You find the key? can't hope for much. <laughs> it's down the end, blew out. Well, so get the bikes loaded up. I'm gonna so strap these things down. Have you haul any of this crap yet? I've hauled some stuff. I've hauled some Crown Vicks and stuff from a... Uh, up there next to me is where he bought a bunch of This road's long as crap, too. Stand up here at the Best Western. There's no parking anywhere relatively close to the hotel, so we got the trials bikes loaded up, and uh, it's kind of hard to have security on them. So we ran the chain through the wheels, got the binder. Oh, this one's kind of loose. So we're gonna tighten the binders way up. Got all the lights on on the truck. Gonna have the APU running to simulate maybe someone being in this thing, and hopefully no one will mess with them. We're right next to a pet hospital. In all hours, Waffle House, which is worrisome a little bit, but uh, get these things hopefully secured. And there you have it. We've got a strap through the front wheel, also safe and secure, chained through the back wheels. And this binder is so tight, if someone tries to break this loose, it's going to break their 
wrist or their face, hopefully, because they shouldn't be messing with it. This one's really tight now. That that one's really tight. That's disgusting. No. <laughs> I guess I need to get the binder bar out again. Yeah. Oh yeah, that one's gonna be ridiculous. I don't think you're gonna be able to put it, get it on there. I'm gonna go get it. Back out here this morning and the bikes are still here. Thankfully, no one took them. Although it would've made for some good content. But uh, back coast ready to go. We're gonna go find some breakfast and go make a delivery. First stop of the day. I've been thinking about taking these two center ramps out because I don't ever use them. They're just kind of in the way. And uh, putting them up for storage so that when the outer ones get damaged over the years, we'll have two spares. Who oh, knows? See this all clunker up, back up off the trailer. Hey, dummy. <laughs> Gonna tear my trailer up. Just it's absolutely just minty. Sold by Clunkers International. The brakes work? Come on now, Bruce. Don't be Buying stuff, not breaking stuff. You got a hydraulic plug and cap kit? Look, you got these tires on here pretty sweet, aren't they? Got some super swampers on a skid steer. Oh god, that's fast. They're dropping that's quick. Awesome. I doubt it. It definitely can't be the cylinder. So we finally struck a deal on some equipment. Oh, Paul's buying. And uh, got one T770 Bobcat skid steer we're loading up. And a dozer. Should be interesting on my aluminum deck. We'll see. Oh, these ramps are pretty sick. Yeehaw. I'm gonna put a load on this truck. <laughs> I'm pumped. Money, money, money. Tilt the bucket. the uh, stands down there for this thing, but it'll be all right. Yeah, it's hooked right on it. I said it's hooked right on it pretty good. There you go. Are we 
we straight? Yeah, nice and straight. Dang. Money, money. Hey, partner, you're good and straight, too. It's straight. There we go. No spots in the deck or nothing? Hey. Loaded up pretty nice. Keep it coming. We got the bikes back on here. We gotta put another skid steer behind this. Yeah, twist it as much as possible. Yeah. You're on a bike. <laughs> You're good. Keep going. <laughs> Yeah, it really didn't make a difference. Yeah. Just, just lay it level, just yeah, keep it turned. It didn't really make a difference. Level. We well, really should be hanging off that side more than this side. Why? It's got the side you, know. you see better than that. That's true. All right. We'll get skid steer. However you want to say it. Loading up. This will be the last one for the day. Should make for a nice load. Right around uh, 40,000 40, pounds on the bed. Something like that. start on something that runs perfectly good. That's not, that's not valid. That's not our style. You sure about that? Let's strap this, this bucket down too. Secured binders on everything. We did put four binders on the dozer hooked to the tracks. So all good there. Two chains and stuff on the Takuchi. I looked at my uh air gauge over here in the load box on the trailer. Pretty sweet little setup. It says we're at 34,000 on the trailer axles. I'll show you guys over here how that works right quick. Our dozer blades only hanging over like six inches on the other side, so I'm not too concerned with it. But uh, here we go. So our gauge is reading 70 psi, and if we look on our meter here, that shows 71 at 17,000 pounds on per axle. So we're right around 34,000, 35,000 pounds. So air the trailer, our truck is back up in just a second. We'll be on our way. All right, so we got Paul driving. He 
you better if you if you don't don't wind it out so much. It's a lot easier to drive. Don't use the clutch. You know, you just float them the whole time. Yeah, you float float every gear. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, don't use the clutch at all. Made it back here to the tractor yard. It's not fine. It's and our terrible. professional shifter here. <laughs> We are uh, unloading all the equipment. And we're still having brake issues. So off camera, we pulled in the yard and this front left wheel is basically smoking so hot. The drum was over 500 degrees. The hub is like kicking on like 275 degrees. So we called. It's like 350. Yeah, it was, yeah, that is right. It was really freaking hot. So still having some trailer issues. We got a hold of Jim Hawk. They're going to uh, call us back tomorrow. Let us know what they think. So all the way up here on the trailer, it didn't scuff anything. It kind of just did its thing right here on top of the uh, spots, which is kind of what it's supposed to do. No damage to the trailer with the steel tracks on it. Yeehaw. Dang. Can't complain about it. Ride it off the side. Heck no, you do it. I'll do it. No, thank you. That is not my cup of tea. Way too fat for these things. <laughs> I know a lot of you guys want to see these things rip. Not messed up. Yep. They're definitely cool. I love the smell of that two stroke gas, like race gas. the video paul and i riding down to uh south florida picking up some equipment we're going to be selling in the near future once we get some stuff going through it and service it up um hopefully we'll have some more details and updates on the trailer with the issues i've been having um jim hawk has been working with me trying to get some things figured out and uh yeah back in action with doing some stuff with the pete our stuff with the fmcsa safety audits all done we're good to go there got everything turned in I uh, appreciate everyone's comments, kind of give me a heads up on what's going on and how to get through the audit and whatnot. And uh, yeah, smash that like button, drop a comment down below and subscribe. We'll freaking see you later. Peace.